morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week and happy stress-free week in Jesus Christ's name. Praise Master Jesus. Wherever you are, I just want us to lift up our hands and begin to thank our Father in heaven who has woke us up this morning, the one that has given us the privilege to be counted among the living. The Bible says, let everything that has been given praise. Wherever you are, just open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. Yes, Father, you deserve all the glory, all the honor, adoration, and thanksgiving. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercy towards us, O God, towards the nations of the earth. Be exalted forevermore. Thank you for grace, O God, to be embraced by your mercy. Thank you, Lord, King of glory, for this new week. Lord, we say, take all your glory and see us true by yourself alone. And in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. If you have said that prayer, say hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want to quickly share with us from the book of Joshua chapter number three. I'll read one from four. One to four, please. I beg your pardon. Early the next morning, Joshua and all the Israelites left Akashia and arrived at the bank of the river Jordan, where they camped before crossing. Three days later, the Israelite leader went through the camp, giving this instruction to the people. When you see the Levite priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, follow them. Since you have never traveled this way before, they will guide you. Stay about a half mile behind them, keeping a clear distance between you and the ark. Make sure you don't come near. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to title this message, Take Over the Land. Praise the Lord. It's a, it is a journey that has started since the time of Moses. And I remember three um, May 4th, after a retreat that evening, the Lord placed in my heart. I remember that night we had... Uh, all night women on the mission and the Lord placed in my heart that it's time to take over. I should tell the people to prepare to take over and which we did. I declared as it was and then we kept on praying and we began to pray for our land. Praise Master Jesus. And um, three weeks ago, the Lord laid in my heart again. Hold online. Your monthly um, program that we normally hold is offline. I beg your pardon. But since then, everywhere is locked down, so we couldn't meet physically. And the Lord inspired my heart, meet again online. And he told me the word, take over the land. That was two weeks ago. I remember when I announced it to my sisters, they were all excited. Ah, ah, praise God, we really miss that, our gathering. But thank God God is bringing it. And today I was just, uh, what do I have to share? I wanted to do it in broadcast. But this word came to my heart, take over the land. You see, from this place we just read, the Israelites they tarried, they tarried at the uh, at the river uh, at the river bank of Jordan, and before they even had to get to the river bank of Jordan, they've been tarrying in one place or the other, because where they were going, they are going to their Canaan, their Canaan land, their promised land, and Moses that was leading them is gone, and now Joshua has taken over, and now the Lord told Joshua, Joshua, look, I'm going to lead you, you are going to, I'm going to use you. As a leader to take to take the people to the promised land and they will take over. Praise Master Jesus. And never since every one of us has been locked down. Every one of us has been locked down by the reason of this COVID-19. Everybody has been inside. And I believe every one of us in our various capacity, we have been seeking God. We have been so fervent. We have been, we have been praying. We have been studying. In fact, some of us you know, you just give yourself to the word. And now the Lord said, it is time to take over the land. It is time for that massive invasion. It is time for the, the it is time for a, 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 the, the, the wind of revival. And the wind of revival cannot just blow like that. It needs Joshua to step out, to take the people. And now they have tarried in a particular place. And now the Lord said, gave them instructions. He said, now, early in the morning, the, he said, the elders, three days later, the elders went to the went to the people and said now look we are joining this we are taking this journey by faith we don't we, we have not traveled it before he said now follow the levite you know as i began to look the levite too has not journeyed they have not traveled that way before the only person that have traveled that way was is god almighty because the bible say he is the one that created the heavens and the earth so he's the only one that 
that, that has traveled that way. So the Levites were moving by faith by the reason of the ark of God in their hand. Today we have been, we, we, we have, uh, you know, we have the ark of God in our hand. I call the ark of God the GPS. They had the ark of God, the ark of God those days, the one the Israelites were carrying, were the one the Lord gave Moses instruction to, to construct. And today we have the word of God as our GPS to tell us when to take a move and when to strike. And this is the time. This is the time. And the Bible makes us to understand in this scripture that he told them, he said, look, just move behind. Don't run ahead. In other words, for us to take over, we don't need to run ahead of the ark of God. We don't need to run ahead of God. We must be behind God and let God be at the front and God constantly giving us instruction. And this is what he also said again. He said something. He said, he said, make sure you don't come any closer. And I was wondering, is it not when they come closer, they will, at least the power will flow more? But I discovered something I got there. When they get closer, they'll become too familiar. I know many of us, we've been in our closet, we've been in our inside, we are, we are, we've been studying, we've been praying, we've been doing one thing or the other. The time to take over is now. Don't, because now we, we, we are seeing in everywhere, especially where I am in Spain, they are lifting up the band gradually, and any moment from now, we'll be coming out completely. We'll be taking a stroll, we'll be doing one thing or the other, go freely, and then very soon, it, the band will be completely off. When the band is completely off, you will you now return, according to my husband, he said, he said some people will still return to their foolishness. Will you not just forget that you are to take over and not to just be familiar, not to be closer, and not to just forget yourself? Hallelujah. I don't know who I am speaking to today. I don't know who I've come to tell this word to, but the Lord just dropped it in my heart. It is time for us to take over. We've been inside the room. We've been studying. We've been hearing the word in diverse dimension. In fact, the gospel this season, in fact, the gospel this season knew no limit, broke over all limitations. You hear it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. He said, now all that you have had in the place where you were sitting in the river bank, inside your house now it is time to cross over jordan it is time to cross over jordan and go to jericho and it is time hallelujah and i trust god for our lives that as we follow the ark of god we will conquer in the name of jesus please don't stay behind please don't stay behind it is time the children of Issachar they understood the time this is the time for the massive invasion the world is hungry the world wants to hear you talk about Jesus. So this is the time for you to go into your neighborhood. This is the time to go into the street. This is the time to go everywhere and tell them about the good Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I want to leave you with this. That is time to take over. This is the time. This is the time. The, the, the heart of the people, are, the, the heart of the people is softened. Their ears is, is inclining. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. And before I go this morning, I want to invite you to Women on the Mission, her monthly meetings. And by the special grace of God, it's taking, uh, it will be taking place online, Zoom. And it's on the 30th. The date is 30th, Saturday, May 2020. And uh, the time is 11 a.m. Europe time and 10 a.m. Nigeria time. Praise the Lord. For further information, I will be leaving the, the posters along. And the theme is take over the land. Take over the land. And come one, come all. So just give us, uh, what's it called? Just give us a chat. If you want to be part of it, just let us know. And God bless you real good in Jesus Christ's name. Listen, the time is to take over now. It's time to take over. So don't be left behind. God bless you. Have a blessed week. And shalom, shalom. Bye.